hello there welcome back to my channel so in today's uh, video i will be doing my speed reviews um for some reason this month i do not have that much to uh, talk about so hopefully this video won't be as long uh, so if you're interested in seeing uh, my reviews on the products that i tried out this month then just keep on watching I've changed some settings on my camera because I don't like the way that my videos look after I export them. Now, this might be because I have to zoom in my camera a little bit um, in order to film because if I don't, then you'll see my floor and you know, like this room is not 100% ready. So I like what you see now. Once it is ready, maybe I'll be able to zoom out fully but we'll uh, we'll see. Hopefully, hopefully the um, the quality is um, a little bit better. So, because when I edit it, it looks fine. But maybe it's just my settings on my um, on my editing software. I'm not a hundred percent sure. Hopefully, this will be okay. Uh, okay, so let's start off with the fails of the month. Uh, the fail, the one fail of the month, I have a hair on my nose and it's driving me nuts. Uh, the one fail of the month that I have right now is this Enliven Dry Shampoo. I mean, it does the job, okay, don't get me wrong, it does the job, but it leaves such a white cast on the hair that it's absolutely ridiculous. It's so white and it's so intense that it's actually hard to even brush out. So it's not my favorite. Huh? So I wouldn't even consider this a product that I could like. It works, but I would never, 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 ever repurchase this again. Ugh, it was absolutely... Ugh, no. Okay, so let's now talk about the uh, Just Okay products. And I have three products to uh, talk about. Uh, the first one is the Maybelline City Bronzer and Contour uh, Powder. I had used this for the first time uh, this month. And um, I like it. It is, you know, the, the bronzer that I have been wearing all month long. Because I had it in my shop, my stash. But it is a bit light in my opinion uh, and this is the shade medium cool uh, it's not cool <laughs> I think it's actually kind of neutral but this is the swatch right there you do actually have to build it up quite a lot for it to um, look nice I mean it's a fine uh, bronzer for you know the no makeup makeup days that I've been doing at quite a lot recently especially if I'm going uh, to the gym all I do is do my brows a little bit of mascara a little bit of concealer and like a wash of bronzer and that's it um, this has been working well for that but for a full face like I, I'm wearing right now mm, it's just so so and uh, next up is my Ciate watermelon burst hydrating primer this is a fine primer I enjoy it the one thing that you know is kind of annoying are those little beads inside the primer because you know they do dissolve once you sort of uh, kind of work the primer into the skin but they are annoying um it is a nice gelish hydrating primer nothing against that now i have been using this for a couple of days now because the uh, primer that i had in my shop my stash i used up the primer that i had um I think I had two primers that I used up this month. I think so. This is the third one. Uh -huh. I'm I'm going. I'm telling you, I'm going through makeup so so fast. Uh, but yeah, this is just okay. It's nothing spectacular. It's fine if I receive it as a freebie. I'll be fine to use it up. But it's. I don't think it's something that I would repurchase uh, myself. And another just fine product is this uh, Charlotte Tilbury Lucky Diamonds uh, lipstick. Now, I'm not sure of the shade that I have. Um, maybe it's called Lucky Diamonds or pff, I'm not sure. But it is a very, very shimmery sort of metallic um, lipstick, which on its own 
doesn't look great on the lips to be honest but when you pair it with another lipstick if you put this on top this gives the most beautiful glowing glowing kind of uh, shimmery look uh, to the lips which is what I have been using this lipstick as as a topper rather than a lipstick on its own because on its own it looks just way way too metallic for uh, for my taste and you know I do like a nice glossy lip but I like them glossy I don't like them super extra uh, shimmery well i like some shimmer in my glass but not too intense whereas this is super super intense so uh this is fine not great uh i will use it up but i don't think i would repurchase this particular formula because it's just way too metallic for me okay and now let's talk about the uh great products the products that i would repurchase if i use them up the first product that i have is the silk hair hand cream uh this is the velvet silk hand cream i love the packaging it comes with the pump it's not that big it comes with 30 mils of product plus it comes with it's an airless pump therefore you for sure will know that you used up every single bit of this hand cream so this is you know this is what it looks like quite thick uh once you work it into the skin it does take a while to sink into the hands but i'm fine with that i actually like that i like the feeling of hydration on my hands because that's what a hand cream is for what is the point of applying a hand cream if you if they're not hydrated afterwards that's my opinion um but yeah i love this and this is so handy especially if you have a bigger handbag just pop it in and off you go and it's such a handy applicator uh for now i wear like a really kind of small camera bag um uh, like a crossbody one so this unfortunately doesn't have the space there but i do keep it at my work desk to hydrate my hands uh, several times a day uh, then in terms let's talk about skincare uh or body care you know not non makeup stuff uh this is the soap and glory the scrub of your life so this is a body scrub i have been using this several times uh before i apply my self tanner and oh my god it is a such a good scrub um it smells really like it has the soap and glory uh you know classic scent it's not my favorite by any means but it is nice it is very perfumey kind of smells very high-end i enjoy it i prefer like it's just my preference is different i prefer more fruity uh kind of scents not you know florally uh but this is a, a fine scent it has you know actual um beads to exfoliate your um skin so you know it's, it's especially good for your ankles your knees and your elbows maybe around your wrist it is just a very good to prepare before you apply any self uh, tanner it is in my shower it lives in my shower and i use it um every time i do my tan which has been a little bit more than for the past half a year because um i used to do my tan very very often then you know once kind of uh, autumn came i stopped because i wasn't showing my body i wasn't showing my legs but right now I'm starting to get back into it again because I am showing a little bit more of my uh, of my body. So I have been enjoying that. Uh, the last skincare product is uh, this. This is the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Cleanser. I love this. Oh my God, why has it taken me so long to give this a try? Removes makeup perfectly, works amazingly as a um, morning time cleanser also use it twice to remove any residual makeup ah oh, it's so so good it does have a smell so if you like fragrance so if you get it into your eyes it will stink so be careful i tried i did that once and now you know i'm kind of i'm very careful um but other than that, it is just perfect. This is a definite, definite repurchase uh, for me. Um, this month, I also had the chance to try the Huda Beauty Easy Bake um, setting powder. I have my one in the shade Sugar Cookie. It is a white translucent uh, sort of shade. She has several shades. The, ne the one down, the next one down from this, I was kind of considering, 
but I'd be afraid that um, if I get a tan or sorry if I am pale well I am pale most of the year so I was afraid that it would not work for my skin when I'm at my palest whereas this is translucent so I think it works well with my darker foundations and my non self tan uh, foundations so yeah love it love it sets my makeup very well uh keeps me matte for several hours um it is very lightweight people say that this has a scent yes it does but people over exaggerate about how intense that smell is like you open it up yeah i smell it but is it really that that intense no <laughs> it actually doesn't linger on your skin whatsoever it is just an all-around good um, mattifying setting uh, powder. I'm not sure how it would work for someone with drier skin. Maybe if you uh, kind of set it then with a more hydrating spray, maybe that would work for you. I'm not sure. I have combination skin. Most of my face is som somewhat normal. However, I do get oily in my T-zone. So this just works well for all around uh, my face. And uh, the last product that is a favorite uh, this month is the charlotte tilbury airbrush flawless setting spray oh my god guys this is a hundred times better than the urban decay all nighter setting spray the all nighter kind of didn't work for me i didn't see it making my uh, makeup last a little bit longer i didn't see it you know kind of set my makeup very well or make my makeup a little bit more transfer proof, transfer proof when i'm wearing my mask whereas this this is so good it doesn't um over hydrate my skin so it doesn't make me look more oily however it sets my makeup it melts all all of the powders in and it prolongs the wear of my makeup amazingly chef's kiss so so good i will repurchase although this is a fucking expensive product and i'm using it sparingly like i i introduced it at the beginning of the month and this is how much i've used uh i'm using it sparingly but i love the way that it makes my makeup uh, look after i use it but that is it for today's video if you enjoyed it please don't forget to give this video a like and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this let me know in the comments down below what uh Mm, what fail what may product and what great product you tried out this month i would love to find out uh but yeah that is it thank you very much and i will see you in my next one bye Mwah.